Hi, I'm Dave L. David Lights Photography. I'm in Photoshop Elements 9, and a new feature that 9 has that I really like, which the Big Brother Photoshop has, is layer masking. And I have two images here, and I want a, a background image and a picture image with this person on it. I want to uh, change the background. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and click on the background, and I'm going to drag it up into the image. And you can see here, create a new layer, and this is above the original picture image. I'm going to go up to an um, image, transform, free transform, and just drag the layer edges till you don't see the underlying layer. And click on this green area to accept that. Now we want to reverse these layers. And the lower layer is locked. So to unlock it, you double click on the layer click OK in this new layer and now I can drag the lower layer above the upper layer and if I click on the eyeball you can see um, which uh, you can see underneath to the lower layer okay so now what we do is we go over to the um, toolbar and quick, get the quick selection uh, on my keyboard I to make the the selection tool bigger or smaller I go left or right square bracket keys. The right square bracket key increases and lower decreases. We're just going to go about here and click. We'll just click around the image to select uh, the person and not the background of this particular image. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in to this white area here. Come up to, go back to the selection tool, come up to the negative and as I do the left bracket key I'm on negative, I want to go right in here, and also I'm on auto enhance uh, with this selection. I just click right in the white here, and that selects all that as well, or deselects it, I should say. So I'm going to zoom, actually I'm going to uh, use the hand tool and scroll up to the hair because hair is hard to do. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and you can see here with the hand tool, uh, as I drag it a little bit, go back to the selection tool, and we go positive, is I need to select a little more of the hair. So I drag that down, and um, that's about as good as I'm going to be able to do with this hair. Um, so we'll come back out to full screen, um, fit to screen, I should say, and um, if you wanted to enhance it, you could come in and do uh, select uh, refine edge to refine the edge. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. Um, we're going to do a quick and dirty version here. And I want to get right into the layer mask. And so if we come over here to the layer mask button, we're selected on the original layer, or the picture layer, I should say. Come down to this camera looking button. It says air lad, add layer mask. And we click on that, and it's created a mask here. And anything in black does not show. Anything white shows, and so it shows the person. Okay, and so we've put the person on the background. Now, normally in Photoshop Elements, once you cut something out like this, um, you can't uh, refine it. But if you come over to the paintbrush paintbrush on the tools bar and you use either the black or white now if you're on a different color click on this black or white thing um, and uh, reverse going back and forth on the arrows uh, the black will and then we're on the paintbrush right the black will erase okay black ground will erase the original and we're on the mask not the the original layer make sure you're on the select the mask uh, if we reverse it and click on white and the paintbrush, you can actually put back, okay, what uh, you didn't have before. So this makes it very easy. I'll go back to black to maybe fix this. So now you can undo and fix some of the problem areas. And just for the sake of the video, because, uh, you know, I could go in here and and really go back and forth between white and black and really kind of get this hair looking right and just her earring. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and erase it. So um, 
so I don't have to do uh, do it. I spent a lot of time on the video. Okay, let me just smooth that out so it kind of looks believable. Okay, and maybe a little bit along the edge there, and here and here on this side. Okay, and I'm scrolling up and down with my mouse. If you have, I'm in Windows 7. If you got a a scroll button on your mouse or a radial dial wheel, you can you can scroll up and down a little bit under the chin here, and uh, maybe go back and just fill that in just a little bit. Oop, too much. Like I said, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time. Go back out to zoom out. Okay, and there it is. There you have a person on a new new background. Um, if I click on the shift, if I click on the mask and I click on the shift key, you can see the original image. I click again on the mask, you can see our new image, uh, our new background. Of course, then you, if you want to print this, you would do layer flatten and uh, save it as a JPEG. Anyway, that's my tip. I'm Dave. I'm David Likes Photography. Thanks for watching.